Welcome back to day two. So, where to begin? It's uh, it's like 20 degrees warmer this morning, which is cool, except for the fact that every time the weather does this whole ping pong back and forth thing, my allergies go nuts and I can't breathe and my nose is running and that's great. But other than that, it's a lot better that we're not out here freezing our butts off for this morning. So you might be wondering why the hard hat. The hard hat is here because of this clip right here. My plan is to get you some first person views of me putting together the edge drain. Now, does that temporarily mean that I look like the guy that showed up to McDonald's to interview wearing a suit? Yes, maybe a little bit. Am I willing to do that? Yes, for like 10 minutes for you guys because that's how much I sacrifice. But we'll get you some cool shots of me throwing together this six inch edge drain and you can really get to experience the joys of dealing with this pain in the ass. Really difficult to work with edge drain. So the goal for today, we are going to wrap up that whole disaster right there is the main goal for today. We wanna to get all of our drains put in. We wanna get the conduit put in for the gas and the electric that's gonna be crossing over. And then we also want to get our sanitary pipe put in that's gonna go from over here to that side over there. This is gonna be the main project for today. And then once we get that completed, we're gonna run down the hill to where our big retaining wall project is and we're gonna start working on getting a footing in. The reason we're doing that is we have another mini coming, not mini, it's a CX-80, it's the same size. We've got another machine coming that's gonna have a thumb so that we can actually handle these big pieces of slate rock. So I think we're gonna get that tomorrow. The goal today is keep us busy doing all of the prep work so that when we get our thumb tomorrow, we can just start setting block. I got snot running on my face, don't I? Yes, it's so good. Oh, I love it. Anyway, so those are the two projects for today. That should get us all the way through the day. I would imagine we're gonna be up in that area working on those drains until at least noon. Uh, and then we'll move down the hill here. I don't even know that we're gonna get the footer laid today, honestly, because we have got a lot of boulders that have to come out. And those are gonna get loaded in the dump trailer that you see up the hill there. So we gotta load all those out, peel all of this back so that we can start putting our footer in. So yeah, in all honesty, being realistic, I don't think we're gonna get the footer in today. I think we will, I think we will get the majority of the prep done, but I will be shocked if we actually start working on the footer. So there's your update for the day. So I'm gonna get you set up with a time lapse of us dinking around with all of the edge drain. I'll get some helmet cam footage of the edge drain going in and we'll start there. So we'll see you in a minute. flathead screws. I love them. It's gotta be the stupidest screw design ever devised by man. that one's gonna get <sighs> yep well, yeah right in here in right fact right I would aim for right about there right. Where's our second fill? wasn't it over in the trench somewhere Might be. I don't remember honestly You know, I seem to catch a lot of blame for stuff. That's right.
You're wanting to use your Y all the way down here? I have to use the Y right there. Oh, right here? Off the house. Got this one here? Yeah. Okay. Just because it's shed in. A lot more water? Yeah. Okay. Right. You undoing all my hard work? Huh? Man. What do you want? You just undoing all my you hard just, work. Uh, it up. Just killing me. That. Killing me. Hey, you're the one that agreed to digging this over here. Uh, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I thought it was going to be a garage. Is it good? I had a bathroom for the gym. Huh. Wow. It's a hell of a gym. Yeah. Tell me about it. Alright. So I'll throw this on here. Already out of breath. It's not a good sign. It doesn't bode well for the day. There we go. There. There it is. Huh. We're gonna end up popping a new roll, I think, Rick. Yeah, we're gonna have to. So do you want me to use a coupler or you want me to just pop a roll? Put that on, use this coupler. Okay. It's easier carrying a whole roll. Alright. All right, so that's what was involved to hook up two, only two of the gutters. I'm gonna stop recording now because I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself at how much I'm huffing and puffing doing this, but six inch edge drain is a pain in the to work with. We'll see you guys in a little bit.
You're getting deep out here. You're getting too deep. Yeah, because we got to go uphill. So why are we doing this, you ask? It's because the homeowner pulls another audible when we realize that uh, if you're gonna have a sewer pipe going to the garage, you're gonna need a water pipe to go with it because you can't have a bathroom without water. So after some discussions with the homeowner, we have decided to add a water pipe. So here we are. So as you can see, Rick got a hold of the existing water pipe. That's where the water and the electric for the well came out. So that's gonna be fun for someone. I wouldn't take any more there, Rick. Hang on, stop. Pop up. Confident, I saw, saw the water behind in his bucket. Okay, so it is the same line. That's going to the well. Oh, sorry. Nice when your voice cracks like a 12 year old. Love it. Makes me feel like a real man. And if you've never laid a sewer pipe, the key is you gotta have pitch running downhill so the poo flies. So we're gonna go up about 10 inches to a foot by the time we go from this side here to that side over there. All right, welcome back to another snippet of my life. Um, Here's the trench for water, sewer, gas, and electric to come from the main house there and come over to the detached garage here. So after all the f around that we did, this is what the homeowner finally landed on that he wanted. So there we go. Wow, whip you around to my face here. Uh, so now what we've decided to do is shift gears. How about I actually make sure the camera is pointing at me instead of like the sky or the top of my forehead. Uh, so now what we're gonna do, we had a change of plans. I'm sorry about the wind noise. I know that's probably terrible, um, but it is what it is right now. So I'm gonna come up here. This whole area I'm gonna just smooth off real quick. Not real grade work, just slicking it off. And then over across the way there, we've got, there's a cube of brick. There's multiple cubes of stone. And so I'm gonna try to, we'll see what happens. I think that brick's gonna explode on me if I try to fork into it, but we're gonna find out. But all of that is going to now move into that area there so that we can then do our culvert here and here and then grade this area out. So yes, that's what we're doing now. So, sorry, I'm all over with the camera, really. This has been a little bit of a pain in the ass day, so filming has kind of come second. I apologize on this one. We'll see if I even edit it. 
We'll see if I end up even editing this one, uh, in all honesty, because it's been that filming day. But all that to say, I'm gonna jump in the skid, fire up the camera in there, and we'll see if we can't make a big mess. See you in a minute. Okay, so I had to show you and share with you a little bit of my day that's totally unrelated to any of the machine work. And that is the world-class Tetris-like abilities that my wife has when packing my lunch. So when I was working full-time, hardcore, 16 hours a day, my wife would pack my lunchbox in a way that would make Tetris champions jealous. I mean, it was ridiculous because, and also a little frustrating to be honest, because as I took my lunch out, if I didn't pay very close attention to the order at which things came out of my lunchbox, I would never get them all back in. And so I would just be stuck with Tupperware containers running rampant all over the cab of the machine. So all that to say, what brings this to my attention and why I thought I would share this with you is because this is my banana bread for today. Yeah, that's my banana bread. I don't know how she magically made that fit into that container like to the point that it's not, like it's not, I'm gonna have to work to get that out of there. And uh, I was just kind of amazed at that. So I thought I would share that with you. I'm gonna go try to figure out how to get this out of this container so I can eat it. And then I'm gonna go back to digging and we'll catch you guys in a little bit. So this ought to be fun without a thumb. Chasing it downhill. Let's see here. Let's see if we can spin this a little bit and work another angle. the most difficult boulder for the first one. Handled this thing just fine earlier. But I cannot get a grip on it this time around. I mean, 
nuts. I will win. I will win. Got it. slide down instead of dropping. Okay, we're gonna call that good. And we're gonna go get some small ones to go along with that one. Because I bet that's pretty close to a load. That sucker is heavy. Uh, last item of the day, we're trying to clean up the front yard so we can do some culverts tomorrow. Because it sounds like our retaining wall stone isn't gonna be here till next week. We've got what we do in the backyard, um, but we're gonna need at least one, if not two trucks, additional to what we've got, and we can't get it till next week. So we're gonna, yet again, revise our schedule, and we'll focus up here. We'll get what we can in the backyard, but then while we're waiting for the additional uh, stone, We'll come up here and work on culverts. So we're just doing a little prep for that. So anyway, thought I'd give you a couple minutes of me playing pickup blocks 
It ain't pick up sticks, that's for sure. And the goal is to get as little dirt as possible. And we'll take that. had that whole thing, didn't I? Oh, well. Well, they got a lot of dirt mixed in there, don't they? Son of a biscuit. There you go. There we go. This is how you get good at a machine, not just mediocre. But this is, I should probably concentrate on what I'm doing instead of talking to you guys, because now I'm looking like an ass, aren't I? But yeah, this is how you, uh, you get good at your fine skills on a machine. I used to stack rocks when I was waiting for trucks when I used to dig basements. And it was silly, but I got a lot better at picking up small stuff. You just can't see it in this video because uh, because my, what I'm trying to say is you can't see it in this video because I'm not concentrating, which is also true on me talking for the video. I should probably pay attention to one of those two things, huh? Then there was one. Scoot you right on out there. I was gonna try to roll it back in the bucket. It looked like an oh, and he does it. Sweet. And that concludes day two. So, um, I don't know, it was a very oddball day because we kept switching gears. Um, we'll just walk down here to the big retaining wall because that was a big chunk of what I did today while Rick was hauling boulders. So, obviously you guys have seen, we cleaned up the front yard here, got a bunch of the stuff moved out of the way and dumpsters all out of our way. The other big thing, which you did see as well today. So those are all of the boulders from 
the old retaining wall with the exceptions of the ones that roll down the hill that Rick will get on the skid. And then what I've done is I've started peeling the wall back so that we can actually build our footer in here um, because all the dirt's out of the way now. So that was the big project today. We're, we're close to being able to prep for our wall now. Um, another portion of what we did, we got rid of some asphalt. Uh, didn't video any of that, mostly because of the means by which we did it. Um, and then the last thing we did, I'm not gonna go over there now because the homeowner's there, but we added about, I don't know, 20 or 30 feet onto the end of that retaining wall and blended it in with the rest of the slope. So now what we're waiting on is hopefully tomorrow the plumber comes out, does all our tie-ins so we can get that all backfilled. Um, we're probably going to start on the footer down up for the retaining wall here. And we'll start putting in some of the retaining wall until our block shows up. And then our big project for tomorrow, and I'm neither one of us are looking forward to it. This is going to be terrible. Back up here at the entrance of the house, there are two gutters in this little courtyard area that we have to tie into our existing drain system. We thought we had some four inch pipes that were already run through the footer for the wall. Well, it turns out the guys trenched right through them. So that four inch pipe that you see right there, we thought was good. Turns out they trenched right through it. So we've got to take that gutter right there and we've got to take it's snuck around the corner here. It's tricky. This gutter right here, we're gonna have to, well, first of all, we have to trench by hand all the way across to here. Then we've gotta dig this down far enough that we can bore through the footer to tie into that pipe. Oh boy, that's gonna be a blast. So that's probably at least an hour of work with the Hilti just going to town. We'll get some footage of it. So anyway, thus concludeth day two. So I hope you guys have fun. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button as always, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys.